Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. One, two. Hi, Hello. welcome back. I just showed Elliot a clip from uh, the new Lion King. Sure did. The new live action Lion King that they shot on set with real life animals. Don't you love how realistic and live action y it looks? Yeah, dude, it looks it's, so good. It's so real. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah, Elliot just enlightened me on something. Apparently, Billy Eichner is a uh, is uh, on Parks and Rec. I think so. I, I'm just going off what his voice sounded like. Let me look him up and I'll tell you if it's true. I, I still need. I to thought he was Craig on Parks and Rec. I was actually just thinking about that not not too long ago. I, I I need to give that show a chance sometime. Yep, this dude. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. He's like uh, he's funny. Is yeah okay. Yep. He has a very distinct voice. That's why I was like, oh, I know that dude. I still remember when. I didn't know my name though. I I, I still remember when I first watched Parks and Rec for the this first. Long, by the way. Yeah, I know it's huge, isn't it? What the hell? Is this the biggest level in the game? Yeah, it's it, it's one of them. I think there's one that's a little bigger than this, but uh, wow. a, a lot of like the reason why it's been so long so far is there's like a bunch of secret Secrets areas you're going to. that you yeah that, that they just leave on the side and like you have to seek them out to find them. So. And this berry thing slows you down. Yeah, totally. There is actually one really tricky part with this later on, but yeah. Uh, it's only tricky if you don't know the secret. And the I, secret. And I know the secret. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, wait. What happens if you touch that? Uh, you die. You die. You will die. I can't wait to be spaghetti. <laughs> wait a second. How do I? Hmm. You gonna die, boy? I get the feeling. Don't I'm... try, boy. You gonna die? I get the feeling I'm. Whoa! Made that looks something. like the the uh, boss in the Jabu Jabu's temple. In <gasps> oh Jesus! What the hell? <laughs> Mike Wazowski! Mike Wazowski! Mike Wazowski! What the hell? Uh, they 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 ran out of character models and didn't have time to make any more, so <laughs> they couldn't Mike be Wazowski, asked. Mike Wazowski! Mike Wazowski! They couldn't be asked to make some new ones. <sighs> Mike Wazowski! <laughs> Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me, so help me, so help me, get by. Boom, boom, boom. Why don't you charge up your blast so that when you see him, okay, you'll hate him. Surprise, mofo! Oh, whoops. Surprise, my aim sucks! <laughs> He's like a boo from Mario, you, you need to... There. Yeah! Alright, that's cool. All right. Sick game. I, I, I remember when I first watched Parks and Rec, I realized... It's like, oh, okay, so it's like uh, The Office. It, it's almost like the exact same formula, right? Where it's like the main, the main character is kind of an idiot. In the beginning. In the beginning, yeah, it changes a little bit throughout. Does does like what? What's the name of Amy Poehler's character? Leslie. Leslie. Okay, Leslie. So nope. She's she's the star, right? Yep. Yeah. It like it just. She's seemed, not dumb. She's just zany. Whereas, like Michael's dumb. Is he's he is just straight up dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Leslie's not dumb. She's just like crazy. Okay. She's actually super duper smart. She's like maybe, I don't know how else to describe it. Like. Not very socially smart. She's not socially uh, aware. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but because that's what I would say about Michael. But it's like, it, it, but Michael's also just like dumb. <laughs> all right, Leslie's really smart. Okay, all right. So it's it's not exactly the same concept. Why are you going back? Because there's a secret I missed. God damn it! I want to comb this. We could have been out of this level. We could have been out of this place. We could have been out of this level. But like, God, I fucking late. Right, nice rhyming. Thanks, dude. Nice job. I didn't have anything to rhyme, so I said, God, I fucking late. <laughs> are, are they still making new episodes of Parks and Rec? Or no, 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 no. no. How, that, when did that show end? a while ago. Did it? Okay. Yeah, there's like six or seven seasons. Would you say The Office is a better show? Um, I like it way better. Okay. But I know someone who likes Parks and Rec better. It, it almost feels like the Futurama to The Simpsons. Yeah, like way, I just, you know. I just think that um, I don't know the, that uh, The Office just has way more parts that I think are hilarious. Whereas Parks and Rec, it's good, it's really good, but I don't think of it as like, oh my god, it's freaking hilarious. I was actually just talking to my mom about, uh, do you remember the episode where one of the head uh, Dunder Mifflin guys ends up dying in like a car crash yeah. or something and Michael's yeah. really sad about it yes. the whole time? Yes. 
And he, he brings everyone in the conference room and they, they toss a ball around and yeah. talk about... <laughs> yeah. And they talk about up, your aunt. They end up, like, making up... like Stories. St yes. they, they take stories from yes. movies. Yeah. <laughs> and then doesn't Dwight ruin it? He's like... He's like, oh, oh! When, when, when I was just a fetus in the womb, I, I had a twin brother, and mine collided with his, and I ended up absorbing his. I was like, am I sad about it? No, because now I have the, the powers of both a grown man and a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Was it like Kevin? That. One of them ruins it by, like, obviously stating the plot to a... A uh, Weekend at Bernie's, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was, My that... friend died once, and then... Like I had to take him to somewhere else, so we put clothes on him. Yeah. And made him a made, like yeah. a. Was it Kevin who says it? Yeah, I think it was yeah. him. Like you just described Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and Ryan like references like Lion King. Yeah. He says, "Oh yeah, I went to a zoo and my father Mufasa died in a wildebeest stampede." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember Dwight like, isn't Dwight like afraid of robots or something? Not really. He, he like yes in that one episode especially where he's like. Um, I remember Jim just like trying to take advantage of that or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, he he thinks that the robot's gonna replace him on uh, the on the online sales. Mm -hmm. So he's like trying to get more sales in the the online automated process. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dwight, friggin' Dwight, I love him. And like I think he does it, but then the site like right after the work day's over the site makes another sale and he's like what and they're like yeah the site works around the clock and he's like what <laughs> <laughs> oh man the office is such a good show dude it's so amazing even after michael leaves i still think there are parts that are really funny yeah i i, I assume that like once michael leaves the show kind of enters an unofficial dark age right yeah but like i still think there are some parts after he leaves that are like amazing like robert california comes and he's a funny character i don't know there's a lot of good stuff doesn't will ferrell come in for a few episodes before yeah. andy becomes the new yeah. head and i like will ferrell but he was not good in the office ah oh, man that's he a just shame. i don't know dude he just didn't fit very well which mm. is why i'm glad it was only for a couple episodes I, I just remember like i when i heard that andy was going to be the one to replace michael i was like eh. I, because I, I haven't watched a lot of The Office. I just remember, like, Andy being, like, a more despicable character. He is. Because, and I was like, really? He's going to be the star? But he tried to get Dwight fired, and he yeah. was just a total shit. I don't it, it's It gets complicated. Does he become more likable over time? Sort of. Sort of? Yeah. It's, it's, you should just watch if you're interested. Okay. Hmm. Again, I don't think, we're still on this level, dog. Yeah, I know. This whole freaking gigantic. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oi, my pain! <laughs> you okay there? No! Okay. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I, I... I think I tried talking about it this on our World of Warcraft episode, but I might be editing it out. Fuck. Editing oh, it, boy! Editing it out. Uh, so I'll just talk about it here. Dude, uh, the first episode of my new show is... Uh, is all complete, and I'm waiting for it to, for the, the artwork to be done so I can finally put it on YouTube. The the Mario and um, Ask Bowser. Mario. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. For those for for those of you. Oh for, god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Hey, everybody watching! I'm I'm making a, a new show called Ask Mario. Yeah. It's a show where you get to send in questions to Mario, Luigi, Bowser, and they respond to you, and I voice act every single one of them. <laughs> It's called Ask James, but James pretends to play date with the Mario guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more or less. Yeah, no, it's, it's, no, it sounds sounds like an interesting thing. I'd like to watch it. Yeah, no, it's 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 heavily inspired by the Sonic Twitter. How takeovers. long is the first one? It's like fifteen minutes long. That's a good length. Yeah, I, I think later ones might be just ten minutes long. I was gonna say shorter is better for these kind of things. If you want to milk the YouTube algorithm, ten minutes is the sweet spot. Yeah, I, I don't want to. Oh, boy. Oopsie. Well, and you just run, so now you got to die. Oh, I can't get back. Oh, wait. Oh, I know how to get back up. You got to... Well, I, I could go down there and ride the purple llama, or I could die, just... Die, 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 Yeah, that's a quick way. But, you know, I, I'm really excited about it. I, my, my friend, uh, Monica, a.k.a. Nintendrar, she's the one doing the artwork for the show. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm waiting for her to get it done. But, uh... Yeah, no, it's... Did you throw the ball? Yeah, yes, I did. I couldn't it's see it. It's <laughs> hard for you to see, yeah. I was just thinking that. Well, it was, like, faded out. 
So yeah, Elliot, I hope you send in a question at some point. Oh, for sure, I got you. <laughs> Can only imagine what you would ask. Hey Mario <laughs> and Luigi, wearing those big overalls, you must get some real bad wedgies. Do you wash your clothes very often? And do you get wedgies? And what does your pants smell like? <laughs> um... But yeah, like, one, one thing that I'm actually gonna refer... There's one part in the first episode where I reference some of, uh, Monica's comics. Because uh -huh. she, she has her own Mario and Luigi comics where, uh... Uh... Mario and Luigi end up being parents with Peach and Daisy. Uh -huh. And they end up having kids together. Okay. And, uh, I decided to... Because she's doing the artwork for the episode, I decided to give a shout out to her work because it's yeah. really good. She, Luigi has a daughter named Laura uh -huh. who's super adorable, and Mario and Peach have two sons named uh, Mark and Peter, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. What is this from? Uh, it's just uh, it's on DeviantArt. Oh, it's just her own fan comics based on Mario and Luigi, and they're super good. So yeah, go check them out if you, if any of you are oh, curious. Oh, gotcha. Those are her comics. Okay. Like, yep. What? Charge up shot. Yeah. There you go. Skadoosh. Chipoink. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah, buddy. Nice. That's very cool. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I get to... And she, she's actually helping with a little bit of the writing in the in the show anyway, so, you know, it's cool that I get to co collab with her. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Sounds like a good project. Yeah, but... Uh, oh, God damn. What? It was working. What the hell? That that's, makes no sense. That's some BS, dog. Huh? Yeah, like, dubbing other people's comics ha has been fun, but uh, I, I, I kind of want to do my own project now. Just do something where I can get the majority of the oh. ad revenue. And what? Just don't throw it the third time. Yeah. Happen on the third time, both times. Um, Toach Dog, I hear that. I'm glad I, that this is a project where I do mo most of the writing, and it, it feels like more of my own thing now, so. Yeah. I do a lot of the writing for this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this is all this is all scripted, scripted dog. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I plan months in advance what I'm gonna say, and you know what I planned right now? Fucking haters, see you on the next one, baby. 